Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no talk. <laughs> I do a lot of live updates over on TikTok and Instagram. So if you don't follow me over there, make sure that you do because I know that I've been slacking with the YouTube world lately, which sucks, <laughs> I agree. But sometimes it's just so hard to film a video, then edit it, then upload it, but we're trying. So if you want more real-time content, just follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. My handles are always, always, always listed in the description box along with other information in case you're looking for things. This iced coffee, I just did a TikTok on how to make it. It's so freaking yummy. Can't believe we're almost in 2024. That just sounds weird, doesn't it? And I'm sure everyone's saying that. I can't believe we're in 2024 because I really can't believe it. Today for a video, I wanted to discuss tips for the police academy. I do have another video on my channel. It's under the police related uh, videos playlist. So if you ever want more police content, just go to that playlist. That's where I put all of my police related videos in case you are looking to get into the academy, what the FTO experience is like, what you should wear on a ride along. All of the good information is over in that playlist. I wanted to do another video for tips consisting of the police academy. I have a bunch of questions that you guys submitted on youtube so i'm just gonna go through all of these questions if you haven't subscribed please make sure that you do before you leave i talk a lot about police related content to help you get a job in this career if you are interested in it i also talk about fashion makeup skincare everyday life content so it's kind of a little hodgepodge of everything i like to show human side of policing because i still am a human being. If you like that kind of content, please make sure that you subscribe. It'll mean everything to me. Let's start off with the first question here. Biggest struggle? I would say defensive tactics. I definitely thought that that was challenging because it goes on for a couple weeks and your body just gets so exhausted. Everything is a repetition so that you have muscle memory of doing these things out on the street. You want to be able to do these things quick, efficient, and the way you do that is by a lot of repetition and practice. So defensive tactics was one of the biggest struggles because it was just so hard to get through. Another struggle is remembering everything for the written tests. I used flashcards a lot. Sometimes in my academy, they had us do open book because when you're in the career, you don't need to remember everything verbatim. Yes, you need to remember certain things. You're gonna have the vehicle and traffic book with you. You're gonna have penal law with you. You're gonna have a cheat sheet, which I recommend getting. Having quick guides will be your friends out in the career, but some academies just want you to remember everything off the bat, which isn't a bad thing. It's just that it can be hard, especially for people who are hands-on learners, which that's how I am. I have to go out and do it in order for me to remember it. I can't be talked at and try to remember everything because it's just not going to work for my learning style. So that was definitely a big struggle was remembering all of that stuff because they're just talking at you instead of actually applying it out in the world because you're not a certified police officer yet. <laughs> so it's just finding that balance of trying to remember everything for the written exams in the academy. What was the most fun part? The DWI training. I always thought that that was fun because they actually have people that come in, drink on scene, like in a different room and we have to do sobriety tests. That was so much fun <laughs> and I am just so good at DWIs because of that training. I think we did like three or four days just dedicated to DWI because that's something that you want to be precise on. Did you build meaningful connections? Yes, absolutely. So the people that you go to the academy with, most of them you're going to talk to for the rest of your life because some people from your academy will get jobs in agencies that are next to you or they'll get jobs at your agency. You guys will work together. The connections do last a lifetime. Now, do I see and hang out with these people on a regular basis? No, which stinks because I do miss a lot of them, but I do stay in contact with them on social media and through text messaging. How long to get placed after the academy? There's two ways in New York 
that I know of. I don't know about other states. I can only go based on what New York does. You either put yourself through the academy, which is kind of like a college course, which is what I did, and you have to pay your way through. I think it was like $5,000, and then you get certified after that. That's classified as phase one. Then when you get picked up from an agency, you go into phase two, which is the firearms portion. During that time, when I was going to the academy, I was applying to every agency that I can get my hands on. I would physically go there, hand in the resume, dressed up, and you wanna make sure that you look professional. Business clothing, you don't wanna wear high heels if you're a girl, you wanna wear flats, so belly flats that are black, everything has to be black neutral muted colors nothing bright and crazy if your guys obviously slacks or suit and a nice shoe make sure that your hair beard everything is in order well you probably shouldn't have a beard if you're in the academy because they make you shave all that stuff but you want to look professional as you can it's super super important because this is the first time that that place or that agency is seeing you and you don't want to come in looking disheveled dropping off a resume i recommend applying to a bunch of different places while you're in the academy the no another way that you can get hired is by taking a civil service exam if you score high enough an agency can pick you off of that list and um, invite you to the hiring process. That can take quite a long time. I didn't want to wait around, so I paid for it, and then while I was in the academy, I applied everywhere. What did you wear during the academy? You go there the first day, they give you everything that you are going to need. All of the information, what you need to wear, they give you, they gave me the uniforms. Like we wore t-shirts, with our names on the back and then BDU pants and boots that had to be shined and we would have uniform inspection prior to going into the academy classroom. So we would stand out in a row out in the hall and they would inspect us to make sure that we looked good. I always had my hair pulled back in a bun. It, they tell you what to wear. But that's what we wore during class and then during the PT portion we wore our shirts with just like basic shorts or pants. I'm editing this video and I feel like that question could have gone either way. If you're asking what I wore to the first day of the academy, I wore business attire. So I had like black pants on, ballet flats, and a blazer with a simple blouse underneath. I just completed week one of the academy. How do you balance studying, working outside the academy? Working in study groups and also not completely neglecting family. First of all, congratulations on getting into the academy. That's so exciting. So I did have a job outside of the academy, and I'm not going to lie, it was a lot. But just try to keep in mind that this is only temporary. You're not going to be in the academy forever. <laughs> and you only want to go through this once. You might have to make a few sacrifices, which... I'm hoping your family will understand because you are going through a lot with working and trying to complete the academy. Maybe if you don't necessarily need to work as much, try to not work so much at your second job so that you can have time for the academy and for study groups. If you were hired from an agency, you should. I believe you should be getting paid while you're in the academy unless you put yourself through. Typically that's how it is in New York. If you get picked up from an agency and they put you through the academy, you get paid from it. So that kind of is your job. If it's not that way, then I would just try to balance time as much as you can. You're not neglecting your family. You're just trying to create a good life for yourself so that you have a career at the end of the academy. If you want to take a break, then use that time to hang out with your family so you don't feel like you're neglecting them. If you don't have the time and you do need to focus on study groups, just explain that to them. And family typically understands where you're coming from with that stuff because they know that you have a lot of, on your plate right now with the academy and regular work. Just try to do the best that you can. No one is an expert at any of this stuff, but it's just about finding the right kind of balance. Just make sure you focus on your studies because you do not want to do this a second time. It is just so exhausting. So while you're in there now, just focus on the work that you need to complete. Try to talk it over with your family. I'm not neglecting you guys. It's just that I need to focus on this for right now. And after you graduate, you guys can have a big celebratory occasion. <laughs> 
getting ready to go myself tips on how to keep up with the pt and the mace obstacle course please conditioning for the physical training before going in the academy is super important i was doing runs prior to going into the academy you want to make sure that you're fueling your body with the best fuel greens good carbs sweet potatoes decrease the amount of alcohol because that's gonna make you sluggish drinking a lot of water so that you're flushing out your body your vitamins bone broths proteins i cannot stress that enough because that's what's going to make you feel great and carry you through all of the physical training that you have to do i would recommend starting a couple months prior to going into the academy if you can only do a half a mile that's better than what you did the day before start slow and work your way up to a mile then work your way up to another mile try to increase your speed each time you're not going to be an expert at it going right out the the gate but as long as you continue to try and you keep pushing yourself with the mace obstacle you gotta have the right mindset with that stuff. It's gonna suck 1000%, but you have to keep thinking in your head, it's only temporary. This isn't gonna last forever. As you go through this obstacle, do what you have to do, focus more on that than the actual physical pain that you feel. And keep reminding yourself, this is only temporary, get through this. Changing your mindset certainly helps. I've always wondered about the showering situation. It seems stupid, but do y'all just shower in front of each other or are there? privacy barriers less curtains no with my academy there was different showers so it would be like a stall with a door and then my own shower and then there would be other stalls we were not showering with each other hell to the nah <laughs> what is the best way to prepare for the physical portion like what types of exercises do you recommend to do beforehand sauna work i've talked about this a lot on my social medias doing sauna work you know that hot box that you sit in where you sweat that is so important because what a sauna does it's great for so many different benefits and you can just google all of the great benefits with saunas the higher the temperature the more your heart rate is going to increase causing you to adapt to that and try to lower your heart rate and what i usually do is take really deep breaths and breathe out slowly i hold it for a second when i take that deep breath and i breathe out slowly so that my heart rate does decrease that is so good for your endurance the first time going in there start at the highest level that you can go for the temperature i usually do about 190 sit in there and as your heart rate starts to increase, try to slow it down. That is going to build up your endurance so well. And then as you get acclimated to the sauna, my fire decided to cut out. As you get acclimated to the sauna, then bring five pound weights in there and start doing like little movements, squats, um, overhead press, just movements for five minutes. Then next time you go in there, do 10 minutes. Keep increasing it so that your heart rate goes up and you try to lower it down. Then when you try to go outside and do a run, you're gonna go a lot farther, you're gonna feel a lot stronger because you're working on that endurance. You're building up your endurance. You're making it stronger so that you can last longer in the run. I do have a couple videos on my channel consisting of like exercises that I would do if I was trying to prepare for the academy. Boxing is another one because that also helps with your endurance and is great cardio. You want to do a lot of cardio based things. I wouldn't necessarily focus on weights. Obviously lifting weights is great as well, but it's more about endurance and how far you can run. You definitely wanna make sure that you're doing planks so that you can tighten up your core. For push-ups, this is where like I would recommend doing weights. You wanna make sure that you're working your chest muscles, your back muscles, because that's all gonna assist you in a good push-up. So if you're a female and you're trying to get stronger for the push-ups, work on lifting your chest with chest exercises and work on lifting your back with back exercises. Obviously don't do that like 
the day before you're going to train for the PT test, you want to condition your body. Conditioning takes work. You don't want to just do it the day before. You want to start in advance and work your way up to the movements that you have to do. What items will you need to get on your own prior to the academy? They send out paperwork. They're gonna tell you everything that you need to get for the academy. How do you do your hair and how do you prevent the headaches that come with it being a tight bun? I also have a video here on my channel about doing my hair um, for the academy. I also have it on my Instagram. But what I do is that I get it super slicked back i use a hair oil from the beauty doctrine this is what i do for work nowadays um and that's like a hair serum so i put that in my hair and i make it so that it's like nice and slick if you want it looser so that you don't get headaches i would just tie it the one time not twice so that it's wrapped around three times just the one time so it's wrapped around twice and then that'll alleviate the pulling at your scalp and then you just twist it around, wrap it around, and then you just secure it with another hair tie. Let me go grab the hair ties that I love using. But this is what I secure my hair with at first. I just wrap it around the one time. Then these have changed my life for my hair at work. Do you see how big this hair tie is? Fabulous for wrapping your hair at the base and then sticking this on it. This is awesome and it looks super professional. I got these at Target, so I will link these on my like to know, which will be in the description box. But these are so helpful because they're nice and big and they're not bulky like the scrunchies. I used to use like those giant scrunchies and they were just, I hated them. And they never break. I've had these for so long and they still haven't broke. I keep a bunch of them in my locker. They're so, so good because they're nice and big. This is like a regular hair tie, and then this is the one that I use to wrap my ponytail. So good, I highly recommend getting these. I recommend like using a hair oil or a hair serum, but you have to wash your hair the next day. How to prepare f ahead of the academy mentally and physically. Physically, I've already covered. You wanna start ahead of time, like a couple months before you go into the academy so you can condition your body. Mentally, I think it's just taking it day by day. Every day is gonna be different and there's not really a certain way to prepare you for that. You just have to keep reminding yourself that you're here for a reason. You can get through this. You are strong enough. I think affirmations are everything because that changes our mindset. It helps us to think positively. Obviously, you've gotten into the academy for a reason. You've been chosen or you had the ambition to put yourself through. So don't discredit yourself you can do this you will get through this they're just temporary obstacles this won't last forever so you have to keep reminding yourself of that something that helped me the most during the academy i would listen to this there and back because the drive was so long i listened to you are a badass by jen sincero it's one of my all-time favorite books and listen to it on a daily basis because it's just so good to remember these things that she talks about in her book. So I just go to YouTube. I typed in You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. I would start it before I left my driveway and I would listen to it for like the 45 minutes that it took me to get to the academy. And that helps significantly. It helps you clear your mind of all the negativity and it helps you build yourself up and believe in yourself because you can do this. You are strong enough. You are good enough. Just keep reminding yourself of those things and listen to that book there and back. Especially if you're having like a bad day or you feel like you haven't done that good that day in the academy, listen to this book. It will build you back up and make you feel a thousand times better. So it's all about affirmations and just rooting yourself on because you got this and you can get through it. We did not have to hop fences. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Those were all of the questions. I hope that you guys learned something new and that I gave you some insight on what to expect and how to prepare the best that you can. Go through my police related playlist here on my channel so you can get more information. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. Thank you so much for the questions. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer them. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do before you leave. And until next time, <laughs> I will talk to you later.